welcome back. This is the Book Maven's channel. I'm Amanda and I'm here to review Mrs. Cop Investigates by Amy Stewart, a cop sister's novel. So the novel is set um, in winter of 1919. So the U.S. involvement in World War I is over. Um, and I didn't realize at the time that this is the most recent book in the series, but not by any means the first book in the series. I picked it up um, at a, a favorite local bookstore because it looked good. And you know, I love a mystery. So I had picked it up because um, it looked, I loved the cover art. I loved the concept. Um, it, it didn't actually affect the story too much. The fact that I was reading the most recent and not any of the previous, which I like in a serial. Um, I like it in a serial detective. So essentially the brother figure has passed away. And so all of the sisters are reconverging on their um, hometown. And so you get this kind of interplay between their lives before the war. And then there's always these allusions to what they did during the war, which involved some work in the military. It involved obviously uh, detective like escapades. Uh, and then now it's kind of how they're trying to make their way in this post-war world as women. Okay. So one of the things that I really enjoyed is kind of the, I hate to say everyday nature of the mystery, but maybe the realism of the mystery. So it takes a long time, uh, not a long time, but it takes a while into the book before you realize what the mystery is going to be. Right? So there's little kind of secrets that the family's keeping from each other that eventually you're going to figure out. Then, of course, there's some larger secrets um, related to the brother and trying to kind of unravel what had happened prior to his passing. It is not a murder mystery by, or anything like that, but it was kind of just trying to unravel, as you often do, I think, sometimes when you lose touch or distance, kind of unraveling people's decisions when they pass away kind of unexpectedly. Um, and so there's a lot of that. And then, of course, it transitions into a kind of a larger scale mystery evolving people outside of the family. And it ends with them kind of in the conclusion, deciding that in the future they will start their own detective agency. Um, I liked each of the character sister characters individually. They each have very strong personalities. <laughs> Uh, this one focuses around um, the youngest sister, uh, Florette, who is uh, or was a stage performer. So she kind of brings a, you know, a dramatic je ne sais quoi to it, if you will. Um, I didn't like the way they treated the sister-in-law. Um, the sister-in-law, the brother's widow, she gets treated as if she's very helpless a lot of the book and I didn't like that like I understand that she's grieving I understand um you know she's dealing with the loss of the husband but the way the sisters treat her like she has to be taken care of at all times like that she's not I don't know I guess for me there's a difference between helping someone because they're family, like working and, and pooling your resources in a household and the way they treat her with kid gloves as if she's not capable of taking care of herself or getting a job or, you know, what have you. Like she's not capable of contributing monetarily to the household. Um, I didn't really like that. I didn't like that for much of the book. And it's not till kind of towards the end where she has her moments where, she, you know, she gets to say her piece or or whatever, but even then it's really not much. I didn't love that attitude because I don't know. I just found it such an interesting contrast because the sisters are so independent and are like fighting to be in these very non-traditional fields. And yet they treat her as, you know, someone who had been a homemaker as incapable. I didn't like it. That was my big complaint on on the book. I liked the mystery itself. I liked the resolution. I thought it had a nice pace to it. Um, I did not know until the end when I was listening to the end notes that this is actually based on real people, which I thought was really interesting. And I really appreciated the author's notes. So Amy Stewart at the end walked through what was true, right? So like which parts of the story were backed up by her historical research of this family and which parts had been kind of embellished or altered for the timeline. 
Like there's, um, she talks about she changed the age of uh, one of the children so that they could be more involved in the story. Like small changes, I would say, arguably, but I liked the research approach. I thought it was really, really interesting. And I, I think, I have to admit, it really added a layer to the story at the end when I thought that, when I realized that these sisters really did create a detective agency and that this was really, um, this is based on real women. So it just kind of added a layer. And I don't know if it would have changed my read if I had known that before, but I have to say, finding it out at the end was a, a nice surprise. So will I pick up another one? Um, probably. I, if I saw one, I would probably pick it up, uh, check it out from the library. I don't know that I want to like rush out and own the collection. And I don't necessarily feel the compulsion to go back and read it from the beginning, which is kind of nice in a, if you're looking for just a, a read that you know is going to be good, that you know is going to be, um, that's really just going to deliver on characters that you like, I don't necessarily you know, I think this would be a great book for that. So this would be a great book if you're just looking for something kind of where you know the characters are going to be good, you know you're going to enjoy the story, and it's not really high pressure emotionally, right? So I'm not like, I'm not drained having read it. It was a good book. So I would recommend it. If you're a mystery fan, I think it's worth a read, especially since it's based on real people. Um, it's got fantastic female protagonists and I which I always enjoy and I thought the mysteries were believable and the solution reason reasonable sometimes they have to make pretty big you know leaps to get you there but this one it felt very organic it felt very um achievable I really enjoyed it so recommend see you next time bye